As promised, man, we're gonna go ahead and taste test this uh this sand this salmon here to let y'all know how it tastes because I am ready. We're gonna do it at the same time, babe. I'm not gonna do the salmon first. I wanna do the rice and the stew puffers. Okay, I'll do Yep, she good. Oh yeah. That's good. I mm -hmm. thought it was gonna be two season mm -hmm. because everything that's on it. That is good. That's fire. Not salty. No, oh, that's really good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You did that, baby. So one more look, since y'all. Yo, listen fam, that salmon and that seafood stew on top of that jasmine and rice, I'm, man, I'm telling you, when you go to Littles, you better, man, look for that salmon and that stew and some of that jasmine and rice, man, I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. And for those of y'all haven't seen, don't know what we talking about, in the go back and check out the last vlog and check out that salmon. Cause I say, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna buy some more because I want something again. I told Lynette that's gonna be a staple in this house. That salmon, that that seafood stew with that jasmine rice. I'm sold. But check this out, y'all. This is our Verizon remote. It always falls and hits the floor and falls apart like this. And we put it back together and it still yeah, works. It's been working. <laughs> so, I know it have been apart 10 times. Yeah. And boom, like just like, just put it back together. Uh, the queen up over here, she ordering that, <clears throat> the sea moss that we take. So I told her, let me go get the camera so we can show y'all the sea moss she buy. I ordered from a place called Herbal Vineyards. I can put a link down below. Um, I have no affiliation with them, but I love their product. They source it directly from St. Lucia. It has no taste. They have the purple kind too, that source deeper down into the sea. But they said that one does have a, a hint of the the sea taste even the way they process it it still keeps that sea taste so i haven't tried the purple but i do this one right here they also sell it in the capsules which it's i i'd rather do it like this than they do <laughs> capsules just way too much and they also sell the raw kind that you can process yourself it's the soaking the lime and all that the washing and then puree it yourself and make it a gel put your flavors in if you want I just rather just take the gel down. So I'm about to order one now, real fast. Kanata Stanley started taking it. My hey. my jar doesn't last me a complete <laughs> month. Man, I only had three servings so far, Mike. You that, act like that cut me back three days. <laughs> yeah, she went ahead nibbling on that that the chocolate bar that we got at Littles, man. They real good. They not better. Like in my opinion, they not better than the pistachio ones. How about you? They better to me. They better than pistachio you? Because I'm a chocolate person. Yeah, you love chocolate. Yeah, I love chocolate, but I, I'm really dope. Because I like the pistachio had the chocolate within it. So I think it's weird that you're showing me licking an ice cream bar. It's not weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's natural. Can you stop? <laughs> y'all, we told y'all that we had gotten a new headboard in that picture that y'all saw when we went into Burlington, but we never showed it to you. But I did want to show y'all kind of how it looks. But I said, let me let y'all sit right here while I do my nails. So I did my right hand first. I did these fingers and then I took the brace off and I did the thumb. So, oh, my hands are ashy. I don't even want to show y'all. Do I have any lotion in here? You know what? It's not that, it's not that deep, but. See the ash, see the ash. I haven't gotten to the other hand, so I haven't oiled anything up. But yeah, basic pink. But in all honesty, y'all probably was like, you just doing too much. And I'm a busy body. Like I have to always feel like I'm doing something. And um, <laughs> oh, talking to one of my friends too. Um, yeah, I always feel like I have to be doing something. And when I say doing something, not always like busy, but producing. This is what I'm doing right now is 
just roughing up my nails, doing the best that I can um, without the use of a thumb. Don't realize how important a thumb is until you don't <laughs> you don't have it. But yeah, so this fingernail broke all the way down. Don't ask me how, I don't know. I guess overcompensating. But yeah, so just giving my nails a little bit of shape nails. I'm not the best at it, but it's enough to get me by. And real talk, I haven't seen a salon, like a nail salon since COVID hit because I, I, I just don't have that to give. I can't, I can't, yeah, I don't have it to give. And plus it's saving me freaking money because real talk, sometimes <laughs> you realize some of the things that you do just because you have to be out and about with people all the time. And I was like, I got my nails done just to go to an office, not to impress anybody, but just to feel like you, 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 you're polished. And now that you're at home with working from home and doing whatever, it kind of takes the pressure off sometimes. Um, especially if it's not something that's like your thing, your thing. And nails have never been my thing, my thing. It's just something that I would do. Um, so I could take it or leave it. But when the pandemic hit, I definitely left it. Whew, that was hard on an unstable hand. But doing it in their dominant hand is out of commission. <laughs> the stylist standing over here like, what the heck is going on here? Yep. So, there you have it. What's up, fam? We up in here doing some deep cleaning and listening to some go-go music to keep us going. Uh, yeah, we've been doing doing a little bit of deep cleaning today, you know, trying to get this house back in working order. And uh, yeah, so we still need to wrap these gifts. We say we're gonna do that today, but we're trying to see how we're gonna feel. So, all right, let me get back to work, y'all. Y'all been looking for me today, cause I've been ducking and dodging y'all like a like um somebody running from a bill collector. I told him we've been doing we been deep cleaning all day. So I was gonna come on here well, and give you all your, day. You gonna stop talking? Oh my bad. <laughs> I was gonna give you a cologne, a Stanley deep clean. I told you I can't do it. So he started early this morning, and he has been on it. So thank you, baby. Yeah. Yeah. I had to I do, do it for the team, man. Listen, y'all almost saw me on the news this morning because. Oh, man, man, man. Stanley woke up this morning and he was like, you need to um, call HR. And I was like, for what? He was like, you got a half a paycheck. When what? I got a who what? Yup. So I called and they were like, you know, did you put in for da 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 da? And they was like, I see your short term started on such and such. But this part right here to this part, there's nothing in time tracker for you. And I said, not my problem. So then they were like, it's going to take five to seven business days to fill this. I said, oh, no, 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 no. Get your manager on the phone right now. They was like, well, no managers available, which I know the spiel because everybody's working from home. It is hard to get managers on the phone. Yeah. So I didn't go too hard on her because she's just an employee like everybody else. Um, so I call my senior VP. And I was like, ah, oh, boo boo. This is such a such. Run me my money. I'm gonna need you <laughs> to call them to see if they can expedite to go ahead and put that in so that when my check hit, it hits for the correct amount because I need that money. Next thing I know about an hour later, I was getting a call from HR. I was like, da 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 da. We've gone ahead and put that in. Everything's gonna be all to the good. Thank yep. you. 
But why? They, but why they always want you wait three to five business days to get your skit? But if 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 they had overpaid paid us, they would have took that down. right out the check right then. Boom. And they have done that to us. Yep. So I was like, oh no, 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 no. So that took the wind out of my sail this morning because I had some other things to do. So it kind of just, you know how it's just this trickle effect? It's a trickle effect. But I am going to cook this thing called taco fries. Thanks to Chelsea Janae. <laughs> I couldn't sleep last night, so I'm on. I don't um, know what they are, so I'm I'm, I'm surprised right along with y'all. <laughs> I'm on YouTube looking at it, and I'm like, I have all the ingredients here to do that. And it's kind of carb friendly because of the tortillas that I'm going to use. So I'm about to do that. I ain't going to show y'all because she found it on TikTok, and I'm just going to do it by memory. But I can't wait. Y'all ready for it? Here you go. All right, folks. The queen says she's finished. And what's this called again? They called it, what did they call it? Nacho fries or taco fries or something like that. It look good. But the tortillas is just fried. Okay, okay. All right. It's let's, different. Let's, let's go and crank into it and see how she tastes, man. All right. Uh, the queen says she's going to go ahead and try it on camera for y'all. See, I don't know how to eat. See how, see how these TikTok meals taste. I ain't nothing but nachos. Oh, really? It's good though. It's good? Okay. Mm -hmm. As long as she good. Mm -hmm. All right. So folks, there you have it. The queen said the TikTok meal is a success. Mm -hmm. So guess what? We're going to catch y'all tomorrow in the next vlog. Straight from the VA. Dirty, dirty stuff. Two up. Two down. Holla!